you know, probably for the last few years of ministry, we I've watched um, everything culminate to this point. There's doors that are beginning to open now. And this is our opportunity to take the message that God has given our house and really train a generation that really wants to do something with it. And it's interesting because it's like we had a phase of ministry where God not only gave us a message that worked, but then he let us um, almost like test fly it. Uh, you know, take it around the planet and watch it work so that we know that what we're saying actually does something. It's, it's not just, you know, it's not just some religious concept that we haven't tried. It's real. Uh, when God visited me and gave me the whole message of divine governments, uh, we had doors open. Uh, we dealt with the whole parliament of Nepal, and uh, God opened a door there. And literally when we went into Nepal, uh, the whole parliament came together, and we, we helped them to understand what was going on, and they voted pro-life. Uh, they, they voted uh, to do some things that were really godly with their nation, even though they weren't Christians. And I, I remember when, when I was there, we taught a group of young people about what God had given us. And they took what we taught them and prayed. And we taught them how to pray. And we prayed with them. And literally the whole government of the nation changed. I mean, the, the government was there was removed. It, it went into uh, civil war. And uh, there were things that, that I'm not saying God did that, but things began to fall apart so that new things could fall in place. Uh, that same thing happened in Liberia with um, uh, a well-known warlord, Charles Taylor. And when we went in there, we taught this same message. We taught a young generation how to, how to pray and how to take their nation. And it actually worked. He was removed from power. And nobody actually believed he would ever be removed from power, yet he was. And I believe it was because of what God had shown us. And I'm not saying that it's just us, but what I am saying is that we had a strategic part in it. This message had a strategic part in it. And it's, it's not me. It's not any one person. This is something that has to be done by the body of Christ. This is something that has to be done by a group of people. This, is, this isn't something that, that you can uh, you know, lay claim to on your own. So over and over, whether it's here in Louisville or Kentucky, uh, Liberia, Haiti, uh, uh, Nepal, uh, we had a situation in Martinique where I went in to minister, and it was in a drought. The nation was, was literally, they told me, they said, Pastor Blevins, we, we've just gone through a rainy season and had no rain. And I taught them about what God had shown us, the message of divine governments and how you can make a difference and how you can pray the kind of prayers in the way that God's shown us where territorially things can change. And, and as we prayed, I declared prophetically, I said, it will begin to rain when I leave. And I said, it will rain so much that people will come to you, Pastor, and say, have Pastor Blevins back in so he can tell it to stop raining. And literally, I got on the plane, and it was the dry season. And as I flew out, it started raining. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained so much that literally the pastor called me and said, they are asking me to have you come back so you can make it stop raining. And I said, man, it's the blessing of God. Just learn how to take what I've taught you and govern your nation. See, God, God told us in the word to be fruitful, multiply, uh, fill the earth, subdue, and have dominion. We are to have dominion. And the, the message that God gave me a few years back when he visited me for 11 days and I could hardly speak, and he began to open up mysteries of the kingdom. That message now it's time. It's as if we have gotten a green light from heaven to, to ask a generation that's alive in the earth now that means business, that doesn't want to play church, they're tired of religion, and they want to make a difference. And here's what God keeps saying to us, that we are to train and we are to teach this message to a people that are willing to lay spiritual foundations for lasting cultural transformation. You know, you could, you could go as a do-gooder and go into any part of the world 
and you could stand for what's right and you could make a difference and you could invest your life and then the next warlord comes along and destroys it. The next oppressive government steps in, tears up everything you spent your life doing. But when you know what God has shown us, when you know this message and you learn it and you really apply it, which is, which is our vision. I want to get teams of people and teach them so they can go into nations and teach others and do this. What happens is you insert a spiritual reality at a foundational level so that when change happens, nothing that comes along can make it change back. It's solid. It's kingdom. It's God's governments. It's divine governments. And that's... That's really, I guess, the thing that is exciting me after 40 years of preaching that we've finally gotten a green light from heaven to take this message and train a generation ready to make a difference.